Hello and welcome to our Excel Financial Functions video powered by Alchemax. In this video, Les Allen will be taking a look at using the IPMT interest payment function. Les is an international skills developer at Alchemax and has a passion for Microsoft Excel and business intelligence, having been in the industry for the past five years. We trust you will find this video very informative. And sometimes you actually want to see exactly what expenses, uh, what, what are the total expenses for the company. And you can go down to very, very fine detail. So how much are we paying in interest in relation to credit cards, in relation to loans that we've got? So these are all costs that are attributed for getting this particular money. You can work that information out using the IPMT function. Have a look at the syntax. It's all the same stuff. It's all the usual suspects that we've seen so far in this presentation. Rate, NPER, the period, the PER, which is the second option there, that is to work out what the interest is for a specific period. So when I do the demonstration, we'll see that maybe the lifetime of this, this loan is 84 months. Show me what the interest is for period 17, or for period 12, or for period 60. The period is a specific repayment period in the life of this loan. NPR, PV, FV, they're all the usual suspects. So let's have a look at the IPMT function in action. So your screens will be updating a little bit busier on the screen right now. What I've done is I've taken a loan amount of 100,000, loan years is seven, and I've given myself an interest rate there. Using the PMT function, I've then worked out what my repayment amount would be. So you can see that for 100,000 over seven years, my monthly repayment would be just a smidge under $1,600 a month, and my total amount to be repaid, almost 131,000. So of those 84 months that it takes me to pay back this, how much of that $1,500 $1, is going to interest? Let's work that out. I would like to know, and I'm going to select cell C14, I would like to know the 14th period. Let's do that as a random. So what is the interest going to be for the 14th period over the life of this loan? Let's work out our interest rate. Now, a lot of the work's already been done for us, in particular to the PMT function that's up the top. So I'm simply going to reference a couple of those cells. So my interest rate is already available in cell B9. The period, now I've referenced that I want period 14. So I'm going to reference that Cell C18 is going to be referencing cell C14. Yes, it's an extra step. It's superfluous. I could be simply referencing from C14, but I'd like to be consistent in the way that I'm doing my layouts. The number of periods, well, that's 84. So I can reference that from cell C9. The present value, the loan amount, that was 100,000. So I can reference cell C3. And we've got enough to build our formula. The IPMT function, I'm just going to build it quickly. And then we'll go through the syntaxing once I've completed all of that. OK, so on your screen now, you'll see that the color coding formula has been completed. First part of the, uh, first part of the parameters is the rate, that's from cell B18. The individual period that I want is from C18. The number of payments, that's in D18. And the present value is in E18. I close the brackets. There you go. Now, you'll also see that the heading for that particular box, interest paid for period 14, that's dynamic. I'll show you how I've done that in just a second, but the more important thing is to know that of that monthly repayment, $586 of that went to interest. So by working out how much you can pay, how quickly you can pay, using a, co uh, a combination of these particular functions, you can start going a long way to reducing how much you pay in interest and get yourself into a better financial position. To show you how I did that heading in cell F16, I'm just going to expand the formula bar. The way that I did that was simply using a concatenation function. Concatenate joins the contents of two cells together. 
So all I did was type in equals, open my quotation marks, my inverted commas, interest paid. Now to drop a line inside of a cell, you can press Alt Enter and that will actually force a carriage return in the cell. So you see that interest paid for period, close my quotations, but there's a space between the D and the final quotation mark to allow a space in the cell. The and symbol, that's concatenation. You can use the concatenation function if you want to, but that's a very, very quick and easy method to do it. Please join that sentence with the contents of cell C14. There we go. So that's a dynamic heading. Thank you for joining us for this YouTube video. If you found it useful, please visit www.alchemets.com to find out more. You are also welcome to subscribe to get our free Excel or Alchemex tips and tricks delivered directly to your inbox for continued learning. You may also be interested in finding out more about Excel on Steroids, a specialized training program powered by Alchemex at www.alchemexacademy.com. The three advanced online workshops focus on key Excel functionality for business reporting and decision making, covering worksheets and formulae, data lists and macros, and pivot tables and pivot charts. Find out more at www.alchemex.com forward slash training courses dot ASPX. Please visit alchemex.com for more information about our BI software products and training courses the BI community at alchemex.ning.com for access to videos, forums, and more, the BI blog, or the Alchemex Online Training Academy. You can also follow us on Twitter or Facebook. Please subscribe to Alchemex videos on YouTube channel www.youtube.com forward slash user forward slash Alchemex video. For sales or support or any other information, please email info at alchemex.com. We hope we can assist you again soon to enhance your reporting skills. Have a great day.